Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about prime and composite numbers. What are prime numbers? These are whole numbers greater than 1 that have only two factors, 1 and the number itself. Let us have some examples. We have here 2. Why 2 is an example of a prime number? Because it has only one set of factors and that is 1 and itself which is 2. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Same as through with 3. 3 has only one set of factors and that is 1 in itself. Same as through with 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. All these are examples of prime numbers. Let's take a look at this table. All that are shaded yellow are some examples of prime numbers. We have here 2, 3, 5, 7, and so on and so forth. The question now is how many prime numbers do we have from 1 until 100? Okay, I'll give you like 10 seconds to count all the shaded yellow boxes. Okay, you got it right. We have 25 prime numbers from 1 to 100. And the smallest prime number is 2. Well, the biggest two-digit prime number is 97. I have some observation here. Why 1 is not a prime number? If you know the answer, kindly write your answer in the comment section. I will not answer it here but I will be reading your answers in the comments section. What are composite numbers? Composite numbers are whole numbers that have more than two factors. Just like for example, here we have 4 is considered a composite number because it has more than two factors. 1, 2, and 4. 1 times 4 is equal to 4, and 2 times 2 is equal to 4. We also have 6 because it has factors 1 and 6, 3 and 2. So it has actually 4 factors. Same as through with 8, it has more than 2 factors, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15. These are some examples of composite numbers. Let's go back to this chart again. All that are shaded white are some examples of composite numbers. But can we consider one as a composite number because it is shaded white? I don't think so. I'll be waiting for your answer if it is really a composite or prime number. I have a question. How many composite numbers do we have from numbers 1 until 100? Can we consider 1 as a composite number? Why it is not a composite number? So these are some questions I want you to answer in the comment section. Let us answer this question. Which of the following is a prime number? Is it A1, B2, C49, D51? The correct answer is letter B. Why B? Because 1 is not a prime nor a composite because it has to have at least one set of factors. In order for 1 to qualify being composite, it has to have more than two factors. So, one is neither prime nor composite. Okay, next. How about letter C? C is not a prime because it has factors more than two. One, 49, and seven. Seven times seven is equal to 49. How about letter D? 
51 can be divided by 3. So if you're going to divide 51 by 3, you'll get 17. So our answer here is letter B. Next question, how many primes are there from 1 until 50? Is it A, 12, B, 13, C, 14, D, 15? If you're going to count it, we have a total of 15 prime numbers from 1 until 50. Next question, please. What is the sum of the smallest prime number and its smallest composite number? Is it A3, B4, C5, D6? The answer is, okay, what is the smallest prime number? That's 2. What is the smallest composite number? That's 4. So 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. So our answer for this question is letter D. Next question. How many primes are there from 1 until 100? A, 25. B, 26. C, 27. And D, 28. I already discussed this one a while ago. We have a total of 25 prime numbers from 1 until 100. So the answer here is letter A. Now, it is your turn to solve. Please write your answer in the comment section. What is the sum of the biggest two-digit prime number and the smallest two-digit composite number? I'll be waiting for your answer. Thank you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time.